welcome to yet another session in Banzo Classes. I hope you're having an amazing learning. Now, do you remember what we have learned in the last class? We have learned a very important topic about net. Net of some solid shape of an open cube, of a closed cube, of a cuboid, of prism, pyramid, cone, cylinder. Remember? Okay, now let's start today's session with a wonderful question. And the question is over here. So tell me. Which is the front view for this solid shape? This is also a solid shape, right? You can touch this kind of shape as well. So this is also a solid shape. All you have to tell is which is its front view. Um, you might have guessed the topic of the day. So we are going to learn about some deep drawings and different types of views in today's class. Now, for example, this one is a floor map. Okay, like for example, here we have windows in the home, here also there's a window, here there's a door, there's a window over here, here. So how many total windows are there in this house? So it has four windows and one door. So what do you think is the front side of this house, the front side? Yes, yeah, obviously the one where there's a door, isn't it? If there's no door, how will the guest will enter or how will we enter the house? So yes, my dear, this is the front view. Okay, if you can just look it from this side, then obviously that's the front view. And what about its opposite? This over here? So, of course, this, my dear, is the back view. If this is the front, it's opposite is back always, right? And these are the side views. So, if you're going to look at it from the front, what are you going to observe? You're going to see that there's a window over here, there's a door, there's a window, right? If you're going to look at it far from somewhere, you're not going to see that, oh, this is a little bit of gap is there. No, you will say that, ma'am, the front view is all of this part, all of this. Of course, this is not the front, right? This is the side that you are not going to count it in the front view, okay? That's not going to be visible, right? So only this portion is visible to us if we are going to stand in front of it, right? So that's the front view for you. Only this much part where there's one window, one door and there's one more window. Now moving ahead to deep drawing. So what is a deep drawing actually? So my dear, see here there's a window. This is also a window. That's what we have drawn over here. We have drawn a window here and here as well. Then there's a door. So we have drawn a door. Now there is one gap, okay? It's, we have to shift a little backwards. So we have to shift backwards and then we are showing a window over here. And then there's window at the back also. But of course, we cannot draw it, right? Only this much portion is visible to us, right? Okay, so that's how we have to do the deep drawings. Okay, now let's move forward and look at some different kinds of view. So this is visible to you, right? If you're going to look at it from the front, this is the front. So what are you going to see? Are you going to see anything colorful? No, you're going to see the side of these matchsticks, right? This side, then there's a gap over here, then again this side, there's a gap. So my dear, that's the front view. Okay, how about the side view? So this from here, if you're going to see, you are going to observe this white colored whole part and all of these things, one standing line. Okay, that's what we call the side view. The front view is clear to you, that's the front view. Okay, now let's look at the side view. Only this much portion is going to be visible to you, right? The first top white one and then the standing line. So my dear, that's the side view. That is if you're going to look at from this side, then what kind of things are you going to see? So now what about this one? This one is actually the top view. And that is if you're going to look at it from the top, what shapes are you going to see? You're going to see yellow, then white. Then yellow, then white, then yellow, then white, then pink, then white, then pink, then white, then yellow back again. Okay, so that's what you're going to see. Only this much part. You don't know what is at the bottom because you're looking at it from the top. That's how you're going to do the deep drawings when you look at some solid shapes from different views. Okay, front view, side view, top view. Now let's move forward and apply our understanding to the question I asked you at the beginning. What if you're going to see from the front? Now this is the front, right? Of course, you're going to see all of this portion. Right? You don't know what is over there because that's a sitting portion. But you have to see only the front one. No sitting part you're going to see because you're just looking at it from the front, right? Then you're also going to see this portion, this portion, right? And then this portion as well, then this portion as well. So you're going to see everything which is coming in the front. That is, you're going to see a cube. A cube which has five columns, five rows, right? Your one, two, three, four, five rows are there and one two three four five columns are there so this is what it's going to look like when you're going to look at it from the front okay only the front things are visible no side part no top part nothing only the front part is visible okay now let's move ahead and solve some questions first question is over here okay so you have to do the deep drawing of this kind of lower map so how are you going to do that so let's start with the first window okay here's the first window so let's draw the window over here 
Now there's one more window over here at the back of it. So let's draw another window. Now there's a window over here also, but we can't make it, right? That part is hidden. We can't see this. Now this is some kind of view where the third and the fourth window is not visible, but the door is visible, right? So let's make a door over here. So here is the door. So we have actually plotted down everything. So this is called deep drawing from the floor map. Okay, now let's solve the last question of the day. It's a fun question. So the question over here is, this is a net of a cube. If you remember, the in the cube, the opposite faces are always alternate. Like these two are alternate. So these are opposite faces, these are opposite faces and three and four are opposite faces. So one is opposite to six. Okay, then two is opposite to which number? Two is opposite to five and three is opposite to four. If you observe carefully, the sum is 7. 1 plus 6, 7. 2 plus 5, 7. 3 plus 4, 7. So obviously, this is a cube that we have already learned about in grade 4, isn't it? Okay, now let's move forward. If these are opposite faces, of course, they are not together. If 1 is in the front, 6 is at the back. If 2 is in the front, 5 is at the back. If 3 is in the front, 4 is at the back. Because they are opposite, they cannot be together. Now, look at the dots over here. Here are 5 dots are actually arranged in a different way but here five dots are different so of course this cannot be our cube right this cannot be our cube too why is it so because here three dots are arranged in a very different way and here three dots are arranged like this in a slant way in the diagonal way right here again this can't be our answer isn't it okay now how about the a and the b part a and b both parts can be our answer and why is it so because here there's one here there's two here there's three right one two and three they can be together but 1 and 6 cannot be together, 2 and 5 cannot be together, 3 and 4 cannot be together. And similar to that, in the second option as well, 1, 2 and 3 are visible and they are actually placed correctly. The dots over here are absolutely correct. Now, let's summarize whatever we have learned in today's class. We have learned about the floor maps and then from that, we can do the deep drawings and then different kind of view. Like the top view, the front view and the side view. Now, you have to spark your curiosity, look at some objects from different views, from top view, side view and from the front view. You're definitely going to observe some changes in that. I'm going to see you in the next session, set of practice questions. Till then, bye-bye, take care.